What the actual c is that? I don't even know where to begin with this car. It is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life, which makes it absolutely fantastic. Never, 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 never. If you didn't know, in the UK, there is a massive culture about these vehicles. Now, there's a culture about these, the, the splitty, and there's also a culture about rebuilding old Porsches. Porsches. Today, we have a cab pickup thing. I don't know. It's just really bizarre. I want to look at the designs. We've got some crazy designs in here. Uh, I, I don't really particularly bond with any of them, if I'm totally honest. I wish the search was a bit more vigorous so I could get some more designs because I like this design. I like it a lot, but I want some color and that little... The little bit of it. Oh my god, can I use Herbie? Should I? I'm gonna use Herbie. Yes! He has a California plate. The number of the big VW badge. That's really annoying and obnoxious. Whatever. We're gonna go with this, okay? What am I doing? It's just weird. It's just. Look at the caps. The hub caps. They look amazing. They could probably knock out an old person. We should test that, but unfortunately, there's no people walking around in this game. Well, it was sunny a second ago. I don't know what is with this game in the daytime and nighttime situations, but as you can probably come to expect, it is not the fastest vehicle in the world. Should we try pull? We're going to try pull a skiddy. You ready? Look out, tranny man! I can see that could be taken out of contact. Please don't take that out of contact. Oh, skid! Oh! Oh, yes! All we can do is power slide, because I say power slide. How about not power slide? That does not count as a power slide. There is no power there. It's now sun sunrise again. What? Let's jump into the upgrades. We don't have any body kits available, which is unfortunate, because that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got so many engine swaps. That's ridiculous. Drive train conversion. We make it all-wheel drive. I'm actually going to keep it rear-wheel drive. I think that would be a lot of fun. We can change the aspiration. You know, I'm going to slap in a new engine. Straight, look at the amount of power we gain from just jumping in with, with base engines. I'm going to throw in you, and then I'm going to slap on some, oh, twin turbos. It's just slow. It's just, it, need, it needs power. Now, it's been a little while since I've actually, I've got, how about 18 million? <laughs> it's been a little while since we've jumped on the game and had a little play on it. That's just because I've, I've been in the process of moving, as you probably know. But we're now back on the schedule. This is actually the last set of cars that was shown. We've only got... We've, we've fully upgraded. We've still only got 489. I wonder if there's actually a better in engine configuration. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. But we've, we're almost... Can we actually get to class... Oh, yeah, we can get to class C. I was going to... Can we get to class C? We're going to keep the drift suspension. I put it on by mistake, but that's staying on. We made the bottom of the cab rusty by default. That's disrespectful. They don't rust. What are you talking about? Oh, do you know what? I reckon the tires, changing the tires, especially on all these old vehicles, that's going to be the best improvement for this car. But it's just, it's just so fun. Like, this is the type of cars like, look at that. We jump from class 500 to 700 with street tires on there. We get all the way to S1, late S1 with the drag compound. I forgot they added the drag compound. That's awesome. Let's, okay, how about... Wait, vintage tire compound? That's that's just weird. I'm only going to put sport on there. I don't want to put the better compound on there for the reason that I want this big and to slide. We can't even put spacers. No, this is stupid. Okay, I spacers on one of these. It's actually stamped it automatically. That looks freaking ridiculous. How do I try make the rims bigger? Because that might look a bit fun. Oh my. That's just torture. And then for aero bits, we have we can remove them completely, which just looks bizarre. I'm gonna put my aero bits on without removing. Look at the little wing on the back, and that removes it and lets you see the exhaust, which is very, very, very strange. It jumps from like class 100 to 700 in no time because of the tires. It's all well and good having the power, but you need to put it on the road, my friend. It's just fun. It's hilarious. This is the type of stuff I want to see more often. Obviously, we've had some really janky, janky cars on this game added. Obviously, some people are like, oh, and my JD with me. But let's be honest, this is cool. What? That Focus RS. I, I was worried there for a second that I discovered some kind of glitch and I was going to run away with that man's car. But let's go. This is going to be a very dumb I, I can't launch. Let's, let's. 
There we go. I've got sport tires on and we're still struggling with this thing. It is definitely going to be decimated by this. There's all a bunch of hot hatches, which I know for a fact must be all wheel drive. Let's see if we can do it. I'm going to attempt. Also, with like a really damaged thumb. I trapped my thumb in a door today. My RCF store. It was massive. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I got Dorifto because I'm drifting around like an absolute prat. But you know what? This is Forza Horizon. I don't need to win. So I'm just going to, I'm going to sit back and relax and have some skids. Accidental skids because I didn't put on some proper tires because I'm a massive idiot apparently. This is fantastic though. This is what we need in this game to brighten up, to make it a bit more like interesting. My favorite thing about Forza is when they add in the dumb cars. We had the limo from a while ago. We have the trucks recently. And now we've got this, which is just something I've never seen. I've never, ever, ever, ever seen anything like it in my life. I mean, obviously, like it, yes. I've seen the actual full Volkswagen splitty kind of bus style thing, but ne never, <laughs> never a pickup version. I actually, on Facebook Marketplace not too long ago, found that somebody had bought a golf wagon, I think, or is it just a standard golf, and made it into a pickup truck. I'm not even trying to drift! You can call me Ken Co- ah! It's impossible to drive this thing normally, unless you want to go about 30 miles an hour, but that's not the way you play with this car. I'm not even on a hard difficulty, to be honest. Is this just a showcase of how bad I am? No, it's a showcase of how badly I am at making cars, not driving. Driving, I'm decent. I'm decent. I'm managing to hold the beast down, tame it. We should try, like, have a- there should be a special mission in the next Forza Horizon game where you can get the pickup trucks or the trucks and you have to do an event with someone stood in the back and not make them fall out and die. That would be a very dreary game, wouldn't it? But it would be great! It's so funny because I've actually walked around here. It makes it that much more interesting when you've walked around Edinburgh before. Edinburgh. And now you're drifting around it in this stupid, stupid machine. It's a real shame that they removed the Lexus from the game as well. Toyota! Why do you do this? I want to drive the new Super N games. I want to drive my RCF in games in places I've been because it would replicate real life. I didn't drive my Skyline all the way to Scotland. It was the RCF. And I'm just disappointed now that I can't actually recreate that moment in this game. I'm disappointed, Toyota. Surely they'll come back. Surely when the new Supra comes out, because obviously they've got to want people to contrast the new one to the old one, because the new one's probably going to be faster stock, and then you want to put the 2J in the thing. After that absolutely disgusting display of wheel spinning power! And too much power. Look at it! It's like, it's like, per it's, is it perfectly measured? Halfway? It looks like more bed than actual cab, even though it's, it's made to fit, like, a million people. We got decimated by focus, 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 uh, which are all, every single one of them, lower class than us. TTF. They're all all wheel drive. What do you expect? That's just unfair. Why are they all in a, like amazing cars? Even Forza know that all wheel drive cars are the way to go in Forza. There's no point playing or any other way. And now it is actually starting to rise. The sun. It looks awesome. I I adore this thing. I'm really grateful that they added something like this. I'm hoping, as I said, the next season pass update, we're going to get some useful cars. I feel like we're lacking in the cool, useful cars department on this game. And we've got a lot more old granddad stuff that, you know, the game's set in England, blah, 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 blah. But that's what they added by default anyway. All these old granddad cars that genuinely none of us in this area of automotiveness give a bloody poo about. So I want to see some more modern stuff. I want to see some more 90s, noughties stuff. You guys in the USA noughties? The noughties? I don't even know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy, please be sure to smash like. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see from Forza. I'm thinking with the Medi C, I'm going to be doing some cool stuff super soon. Not just on Forza, but on everything. We're going to be back to doing the multiplayer videos. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Until next time. Peace.